Hey guys, um, just a quick review. Just got, well, I've had this one, um, Customer Sabre, for about a week or two now. Um, there's all the parts ready to do the install. Um, it's going to have a prism, and I'm waiting on one of um, Cal's or KL Sabres, whichever you want to call him. Um, one of these chassis from Shapeways to arrive for that. Um, my one arrived today, I decided I had to get one of these before they disappeared, just because I saw the quality of the um, how good it was on the customer one that was sent to me, so they've got plenty of protective packaging inside these boxes. Um, oh, I didn't mention it, but this is actually a 89 Sabres Mace Windu Hill. Um, they come partially built. Um, one thing I will say is when you take them out, be careful that you don't drop the blade plug out because most of them are loose and they will drop out if you're um, not ready for it and you could damage the plating on it. The quality on these is um, pretty spot on. Unless you're going to buy a master replica LE, you're not going to get better quality and obviously the LE can't be installed because it's solid. Um, the switch is just for those of you that haven't seen what 89 Sabres or anyone else has put out, the switches are actually on tactiles underneath these springs. So they've got sprung metal with a tactile as well underneath. So you've not got to worry about the tactile buttons at any point wearing out. Um, this is on a machined aluminium section, which is inside here. The Sabre splits here. So the rear handle can be removed and it also comes off here at the pommel. Um, the, this section here obviously isn't leather, this is um, ingrained rubber and the same with this section here, it's ingrained rubber at the rear. This is electro plated gold, or gold chrome plating, whichever you want to call it, and obviously normal chrome and then you've got this is one of KR Sabre's 7 8 um, heat sinks and lead holders spare parts you get the allen keys for dismantling and putting together for the there's the cover tech and a little brass section very important do not lose this little brass piece because this is what sits underneath the cover tech when you put it on and you've also got this ring brass ring which goes on the end of the pommel slides on and you need to glue it onto the end and then you've got the brass sections which sit on the front there and there's your switch mounts and the center center block which sits in there now one thing I will say if you're going to be doing dueling these little pieces of 3M tape, as far as I'm concerned, aren't adequate enough. They need to be removed. And you need to, basically where the metal strip is in here, that metal strip there, you need a piece of tape all the way along the length of that to secure it to make sure that they don't come off. Because I wouldn't be satisfied that that piece of tape is going to be adequate enough over constant use of your fingers pushing the buttons all the time and then taking wax if you're going to dual. Um, other than that, I mean the quality is top notch on these. The machining's great on them. And the polishing's awesome on the whole sabre. Um, what else have we got? Let's chuck these pieces back in here so they don't get lost. And these are the rear grips and these are tall grips, just like the Master Replica LE and the Hero prop from the movie had. So when you put them on, they will lift up quite a bit further than what standard rubber grip does on a lightsaber. So, um, yeah, that's my first thoughts and overall view of the saber. It's um, for the price, it, it's quality. I think Cal may have about nine of these left in stock from the 50 odd, I think it was, that he ordered from. Um, 89 Sabres, so if you want to grab one, because I'm not sure if 89 Sabres has got any left in stock, if you're in the UK or Europe, then yeah, I think Cal's got about 8 or 9 left at KL Sabres of these, 
I can highly recommend getting one. The quality is top notch compared to some of the stuff we've seen over the last few years. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys.